so me made my way to the water i haven't been in the water in a very very long time so i decided that i was gonna come stand in the water catch a vibe my vibe you don't have to understand but me being near water is a vibe you see the little waves out there in that part i love looking at the, the current you know just nature in general nature does something to me so I feel rooted when i'm outside when i'm inside cooped up i feel so like oh my god what's going on but oh, that breeze feels really really good but i'm gonna start or now and continue on with this video to say sometimes you just get fed up sometimes you may experience reoccurring events in your life that's been going on for too long and you're just over it you're feeling like what's going on you're feeling like i'm saying my prayers to the lord but yet my prayers aren't being answered there is something that was down there i don't know what it was my accent left the building for right now but something is down there and then what i had to remind myself is baby it is snake season snakes be out all year long i didn't i didn't seen one in the winter time before i don't know what he was doing out i think he was trying to find somewhere warm to go but yeah, I got to be careful walking back up that hill because that, that grass right about there, that grass is thick. It don't look like it, but it's thick, honey. All right, it got it got some stuff. It, it's thick. Look at, look at the weeds. Ain't no telling what in there, but I'm, I'm going I'm to I'm get back to this. So about to what I was saying, sometimes you get the fair double just feeling like you can't get out of a re reoccurring cycle. Speaking of cycle, my ministry will be coming on very, very soon. So I want to speak on it. The enemy has been attacking me for so, 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 so long. I mean, so, 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 so long the enemy has been attacking me in this aspect. Now, he's been attacking me in pretty much any and everything that he can squeeze and maneuver and to attack. But one of the main things that he's been attacking me with for years, over a decade, we're about to be pushing 20 years. I'm going to boss it about to be pushing 20 years with this issue that he has been attacking me. And that's my menstrual. That's my womb, my, my vagina. He's been attacking me in that area because he knew that he could. So for years, over a decade, I've been praying to the Lord, Lord, please block, bind, and remove the issue, whatever the issue that's currently gone on. I think that I was praying for the wrong thing. What I have to do is let the enemy know it ain't going to happen no more. My faith is big in a mustard seed, actually. It really is. I had to let this mother sucker know today, you were not going to attack me this month. You're not going to attack me next month. You're not going to attack me for the remainder of the year. You're not going to attack me as long as I live on this earth in this aspect. This is going to be one thing that you will no longer be able to attack me. Last month, he attacked me so hard. Baby, I lost 14 pounds in four days. I made a YouTube shirt when I was in a black, white, and gray shirt. Look at my size. Now, I've always been small, but look how thin and frail me was. Now, look at me. I'm gaining my weight back. You see that? All I got to do is eat. I ain't been working out like that because I ain't motivated to work out. But all I got to do is just eat. You know, he's going to try to attack me this month. But luckily, my mother, she she took her, her funds and she purchased me some things to help me um, get into my system to try to help me get my menstrual under control. We're going to see what that do. But I'm going to tell you when I was not attacked. When I was living in my tent for three months. I would have made three months straight, but I think I was like six months, six days shy of making that three month mark. But for three months, I'm going to say three months, I did not get sick, not now a month in that tent. Why? Because the devil knew that he could not touch me. I wasn't in the world with distraction. I thought my boat was coming out. I said, yay. But I wasn't in the, the world distracted. <laughs> I was focused on the Lord every single day in that tent. I kid you not. I was focused on the Lord. Whether it was me listening to the Wonder Bible, getting frustrated. You seen it. It's still on my channel. Whether it was me actually physically picking up the actual Bible or reading the book by watching me need spiritual authority. I was focused on God because I'm still focused, but there's a little distraction there. It was a distraction. And there are days where I'd be like, oh, the enemy knew what the heck he was doing. The enemy allowed for me to be me. And then the enemy allowed for the me to be me to trigger other folks to make them feel certain type of ways and say certain things. And I, I ain't in a tent no more. 
The tent was one of the best things that ever happened to me because I was so focused on the Lord, but that cannot be an excuse. No matter where I am, no matter where you are, we got to be focused on the Lord. We have to be focused on his word and we have to stand in belief. Regardless of what we see the next person doing, we know we can't do it. Any who's the enemy, the enemy, the enemy, the enemy. I, for video purposes right now, and trust and believe, I didn't had a whole prayer warrior session the majority of this month. There were a couple of days where I let it go. But enemy, you will not attack me anymore. You can't, you, you can't, you, you're not going to do this to me, man. I know you want me, but God wants me more. And if you had some sense, you would leave me alone in this aspect. I already know you're going to try to get me in any other areas, and that's cool. But what ain't cool is you attacking my body, my temple. You cannot continue to t- attack my temple, Satan. As you've seen each and every time I came up out of it. Each and every time I came up out of it. So that should tell you something. Baby, you can't take me down. You won't take me down. You can't have me. You can't have my soul. It's not going to work like that. It ain't going to work like that. I'm not going to let that happen. Do you not know who I am? Obviously you don't because you keep messing with me. I am so determined this month I better not get sick. I'm speaking it. I better not get sick. I will not get sick. I won't get sick. I ain't. It ain't going to happen. For anything and anybody praying against my downfall because I'm giving you access. Oh baby just watch the glory of God. And then watch my spiritual authority, the power that I have over my body, using my power and tongue. Watch me not get sick. <laughs> watch me be on my menstrual, and it's not. It's oh, I thought there was something swimming across the water. I ain't gonna be on my menstrual. I'm gonna be on my menstrual. I ain't gonna feel it. I'm just gonna see it. When I go sit on that toilet, it ain't gonna be no pain or no. Uh, it's just gonna be seeing the color come out. Eva is your fault, lady. You allow for the serpent to talk that charisma on you and just do whatever the heck he did. I ain't weak as you. I'm not. I'm very much so strong, and that's the spirit of God that's in me. That strength comes from G-O to the D. It's the 17th. So at first, my ministry was coming on all year at the 10th. <laughs> but it switched up and started coming on the 20th or something. It came on. With, with it. When did it switch up? It switched up when the, when the enemy heard that I had a job interview. <laughs> the enemy heard that I had a job interview. So he's like, oh, yeah, I'm about to step in and do my power. I'm about to st-. And he did it. <laughs> that weapon was formed against me and that mother sucker prospered. It been prospering for the longest. So I was like, wait a minute. I've been praying all these years for the same thing. And I know that I've been praying and saying what I want to say. But something is missing. i got to talk to the enemy personally to let him know. <laughs> i got to talk to the enemy personally. Because what I be going through on my menstrual, it is abnormal. It ain't nothing normal about it. Every month I'm getting sick. Can't eat. Most people when they get on their menstrual, they got the munchies. Like they smoking a blunt or something. Me? No, I, I don't want to smell no food. I don't want to see no food. I don't want to hear nothing about no food. I don't even be wanting no soda, no juice. When I say soda, ginger ale. I love me some ginger ale when I'm not sick. When I'm sick, I don't want that stuff. No. That's the enemy right there. Enemy, forget you. Because that's how I personally feel. Okay. Ooh, Lord Jesus. Look at them edges. It was cute when I left, but now, oh my God, humidity to the T. And don't oh mind this, it's hot. And, um, I got a fro. <laughs> but yes, I decided to come on here and get this message, honey. I know my voice has changed so many times. <laughs> I'm an actress. I'm an extra. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> he tried to get in that too. Ooh, I know you scared of me. I got that problem. He mad that I ain't that dumb to rock with him like the rest of the world. Uh Uh-uh. Yep. That's why I'm getting what I deserve on YouTube. (laughs) A bunch of worldly motherfuckers. Why y'all watching me? I'm sorry. I don't know where. I mean, I know where. You see that light? It is who was. I hope this message resonates.
If it did, do what you want to do with it. I came on here and said what need to be said, so this is going to be a video for that motherfucker. Devil, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Devil, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You sorry mother. Now, I ain't going to shut my mouth, but in this case, for the video purposes, I am. Bye.